two, one, go. March 2016, we're inspecting Illyria dendron, tulipifera, tulip poplar tree. Why don't you scroll up and uh, show the canopy of it? While well, I described the root collar examination we did three years ago on this tree, remove four to six inches of fill that was just a result of leaves rotting uh, from the trunk and flare tissue, and remove some girdling roots and dug uh, some black shoestrings out of this cavity because it was full of armillaria uh, root rot fungus, so they call it. So um, we're gonna look at this flat area here. It's grown new roots into the, into the soil that we placed since then. There's one going across the stem. We won't go too much deeper here. Um, we didn't find anything before and there's enough root growth to stop. So uh, the best thing to fight off the any decay fungus is to improve conditions for tree growth and compartmentalization and that's all about air and water movement first of all. So I use this iron bar to make holes and bend it back and forth to fracture the soil. As you can see we're over a foot deep and most of that is pretty moist. It hasn't rained lately, so we're making these holes just a few inches apart and we're filling them with my trowel here with a combination of two parts expanded aggregate and one part compost and filling the holes with them. The expanded aggregate keeps the rooting environment aerated. While the compost gradually breaks down, we'll hit that with a hose later. Uh, earlier we took this much compost out of the cavity. There's no black shoestrings, few earthworms, few tree roots. We'll be uh, incorporating this compost into the soil away from the flare. Uh, another way of aerating is simply get a pitchfork, stick it in the ground, push it in and wiggle it. And that, that does a nice job down to four to six inches. and. Um, Pretty easy to use, so it's a lot lighter than the iron bar is anyway. So we can see where the soil, the roots go from smooth to rough, and that's about where the fill line was before. Um, I'm pleased with the amount of closure on the cavity here, just visually. I'm going to measure it and compare it with measurements from last time. That's six and a half by four. And another encouraging development is uh, the way the, uh, the wound wood is curling around on all sides. One option is to actually scratch this wound wood and install the screen across and see if we can train the wound wood to grow across. Um, might do that with some other tree, not this one. So, sounding, the root rot disease evidently hasn't rotted these roots. And even around the cavity, it sounds quite solid. Uh, we've been managing the plants around here, scraped off the annual weeds, dug out the plants that'll be nice somewhere else. This uh, river grass does really deep rooting and breaks up the soil. So we put it where the soil is hard, away from the tree and out in the open. Uh, so that's a good associate. So even if we were just pulling it a weed, I'd try to get